Welcome back to Wasteland 3, folks. We are looking for someone to help the refugees. And I wonder who that is. Hello again, esteemed guests. Are there any caravaneers here? Ah, yes. Paradolia Jones would be the man you're looking for. He'll be hanging out at the Fountain Bar. Right there. Okay. Thanks. Enjoy we'll look your visit. Okay. If you're looking for guns, the Sanctified Piscatelli oh, has buddy. the best. I'll tell you when to quit. Mm -hmm. Long John. Dola Jones, that was who we are looking for. As you approach, this man's eyes flit over every member of your team, as if assessing whether or not you are a direct threat. He relaxes after a moment and touches the brim of his hat with a slight nod. Howdy, ma'am. He nods at Lucia. Howdy. Always good to see a Wesson. Turn to you nodding again. We could use your help. There's a group of refugees topside who need to transport to Colorado Springs. Anything you can tell us about Colorado? Do you have anything for sale? We could use your help. I see. Not my usual line of business, but I don't see why not. My normal rates would apply for a one-way transport. Three hundred dollars. Uh, let's barter. You and I both know it wouldn't cost you anything just to have them ride along. Think of it as good PR for your caravan. I suppose you have a point there. Paradolia nice. Jones, friend of the people. All right, I'll make sure they're part of my next caravan run to Colorado Springs. I'll send people to check up on them now. Outstanding. Do you have anything for sale? Just my services as a caravan master. I organize caravans to get people, goods, and livestock from one place to another. But I don't sell goods myself. These lands near Colorado Springs are pretty safe. But still lots of people need help getting around. Especially if you want to range further than that. Okay. Anything you can tell us about Thanks Colorado? To Patriarch, this stretch of land from Denver in the north to Steeltown in the south is pretty safe to travel. You'll find richer opportunities the further you venture out, but it'll also come with more risks. I could tell you more, but truth be told, the only way to know the land is to travel it. You look well-equipped and competent. Just head out and see what you can learn. Okay, goodbye. So long. Let's talk to Long John here. Who is he? All that it might... For all that it might be swaddled in dirty mismatched fabric this figure is clearly anything but human at your approach it straightens with a creak of rusted gears and presses a palm to the nixon mask over its face as i live and eat cherry pie more of my fellow humans in the bazaar you make yourself welcome now you hear he scratches behind his mask's plastic ear his shirt shifts to real coil device on his chest an impressive looking piece of tech fellow humans uh, tell us about yourself. Well, gosh, and apple pies. You put me in a spot. Let's see. My name is Long John, and I'm old as dirt. I've traveled a little, but nowhere interesting. Now I'm here in the bazaar just to see what life has to offer. Make friends. Was it something that I got to do when I was younger, what with my job and all? There was no time to make friends, none at all. But I'm making up for it. I know everyone in the bazaar, and they know me. Okay. Tell us about your travels. I'll tell you youngins what I can. Despite the fact I'm old as the mountains, figuratively speaking, that is... Humans rarely live past 70, and I'm just about ready to expire. <laughs> I don't know everything, you hear? Even though I walked all the way from Denver to Steeltown and back again. Okay. Uh... Tell us about Denver. I'd stay away from the city. It's nothing but a corpse these days, and the Gippers, well, they're not a bad lot per se, but I'd be careful around them. 
If you have to spend some time, I'd personally visit the airport instead. The young'uns there are wonderful. Okay. Uh, have you been to the planes? Uh -huh. Place like that ain't fit for the lonely traveler. Well, you might be all right. If you do decide to go in that direction, I've heard that it's gotten real dangerous. Okay. What can you tell us about Steel Town? Town? That place is an industrial nightmare. Raging fires all around. Melts right through the st 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 skin. Gives me the shivers, you hear? Mm-hmm. Do you have any stories about Colorado Springs? Springs? That's an all right place. A little uptight, but that's what you get from having all of the hundred families there. I like the scientists and engineers, though. Real clever kids. Okay, let's talk about something else. You kids these days and your limited attention spans. Uh... So, why are you trying to pretend you're not a synth? So, we have a job to kill synths, right? So, I wonder... Me? A synth? Aren't you adorable? I'm meat and muscle, just like you, Rangers. Shucks, I even have dreams all the time. Technicolor dreams about flying and standing naked in front of people I don't quite know. Since don't do that. Mm, still think I'm not think a a synth. synth. Why, just last night I had the most human dream. I was back in high school. There was a trigonometry test. I sat down confident and brash, only to realize I completely forgot to study. I also mm -hmm. enjoy toasted eggs in the morning. A very human thing. Mm-hmm. You know everyone can sell that's a mask, right? Look, we can see the strings. Oh, you kids and your humor. If the folk in the bazaar really thought I was a synth, would they have tried to decommission me? Not that I'm afraid of such things. Being the perfectly ordinary human male that I am. <laughs> All right, fine. I am a synth. But you can't tell anyone. Hmm. Why are you so afraid? Because most humans can't tell a toaster from a synthetic with feelings. Uh, listen, I love your kind, your urgency, your need to take life by the horns. You burn so bright, but I've been singed before. You're clever ones, and bully to you for figuring out who I am. But let's not talk about it again, okay? The topic puts me on edge. Okay. So Bye. soon? I suppose even good things gotta end sometime. You be safe now, you hear? And come back to see old Long John when you can. Best of luck to you. Alright, let's take a look at our mission log. Unwelcome guests. Have a talk with Mama Cutter in downtown Colorado Springs. Okay. Okay. I guess we're heading back to Colorado Springs then. The guy in charge? A laser guns pistol. A laser pistol. Oh, I've always wanted Beyond one of these. Sanctified by guns. Um, hmm. You know what? Let's go see Doc first because we have some injuries that we need to take care of. Ooh, we should get something hot to drink for the trip home. Dr. Coldcut. Oh, you again. What is it? A uh, pig, human, <laughs> ain't so different. <laughs> Cash first and all. Aces. <laughs> this won't hurt a bit. Promise. Okay. See ya. We didn't get fully healed up, though. How much money do we have? 1880. 
What do we have for medical supplies? We're pretty well set. Ah, Let's just again. get fully healed up. What is it? Ah, pig! You aces! <laughs> this won't hurt a bit. Promise. See ya! Okay. Now, we did want to get... Was it a weapon? I think we wanted to get a weapon, didn't we? Because we got the armor. Yeah. She is tanked up. All right. Sanctified with blood. Blood sanctified. Word spreads that your actions saved the bazaar. Certainly. Okay. Let's sell our junk. That's 2,842 we have now. Now what did we want to get? Every machine gun, 20 to 27 damage times 9. That takes big guns 5. Which you have, don't you? Yeah. And she has some nice weapons. I want to buy some. Uh huh. Let's take a quick look. So, your war pig is 12 to 17 damage. The other one was way, way better. And the pulse gun there and the winter warrior 10 to 11 damage and Quan has this one 15 to 17 and 14 to 17 what about here we have the dental pick which is quite quite nice quite nice Our auto shotgun on that thing 9 to 48 all right that's Hello again, strangers. Certainly. Okay. It would be really nice. Ah, show sure. We can see what we have. Nice. Okay, 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 okay. Totally missed that. Okay, so let's start with you. Let's switch over here. Can we, can we switch over? No. That's a shame. So, 10 to 11 damage times 3. M1989A1 does 21 to 26 damage times 3. That's a fair bit better. That's a fair bit better. Um, let's see, your range is 18, base hit chance 80. Range 15, base hit chance 75. The penetration is way better. Crit chance and crit damage is the same. Ammo type is the same. Uh, wait. Let's buy that. Okay, let's take a look at you. So 55 to 75, and 44 to 53. The shock mace would be kind of nice. What about the hammer here, blunt women? 47 to 57. 44 to 53. So this is definitely the better one. But it costs 700, so let's just wait and see because this one, 12 to 17, base hit chance of 65% and a range of 15. Base hit chance of 50%, okay? Now that's not great. Penetration is much better though, but I actually think I'm gonna stick with the war pig because the hit chance is just way worse. 
and it's bad already. Rocket 74 to 113. My son cannon rocket 42 to 62. Okay, so never mind him. We have the shotgun here. Uh, 28 to 42. 95% base hit chance. 95% base hit chance, 42 to 61, 28 to 42. That is a much, much better weapon, but it doesn't have the small arms for it yet. All right. What's this thing? Photon churner submachine gun. Okay. Let's see, you have this guy. 39 to 48 with a base hit chance of 75 and a penetration of 2. Ninety to a hundred and eleven with a penetration of ten. Ten percent chance to apply damaged armor. Range ten point five, range ten point five. So this looks quite nice. What about this thing? 45 to 56. Ours is better. I think this revolver is worth getting. But where did... There. It uses 38 ammo, so does that. Let's buy that. Okay, let's take a look at our inventory. Uh, we want ammo. Do with some energy cells. Just buy 90. Do with some 762 ammo. Buy 100 of that. 556 ammo, we don't have too much of it either. Let's buy like 150 of that. Okay. Shotgun shells, we have 38 ammo, we don't use that much. But let's get like 50 of it. Okay. Let's get equipped. So we have now this bad boy instead of you. That is a huge upgrade. And I mean a huge upgrade. Yeah. And then for Lucia, we got the auto revolver. Yep. Survival plus one. Hmm. I suppose it's actually me. Yeah. 
suppose Quan can get that. And where'd it go? There. Then Quan can get that. Should consider selling a bunch of stuff. Or field stripping it. So this can be field stripped. Uh, actually, it's you, isn't it? Yeah. So, field strip that. Field strip that. Field strip that. We'll keep that for now. We'll field strip this. We'll keep that for now as well. Lucia's revolver we'll keep. We'll strip this. We're definitely keeping that. And that, I think. We'll probably keep that too. The Bren we can field strip. The flamethrower we'll keep. I have two of those laws, so we'll strip that. We have two of these, and we don't need them anymore, so we can field strip these and these. And this. Okay. Now this thing, we could give to either myself or Quan. Let's give it to Quan. Yeah. Uh, let's see. This one. Uh, reload. Reload. She already reloaded. Okay. Uh, let's just sell. Hello again, strangers. Certainly. The junk gives us a little bit of money. And let's head out. I guess we'll stop by the clown thing on the way you might as well hopefully that deals with the rest of the payasos if we go in there I'm guessing the payasos are in there oh so, yeah yeah I think that's the plan stop by stop by the circus thing on the way back to Colorado Springs to talk to Mama Cutter. Really need to ask Piscatelli to look at my gun. Ah, bugger keeps jamming. Yes, we want to travel to Colorado. Don't like one of your rangers? Kick him out of your team and recruit a new ranger back at HQ. Well, okay. So, I would love to get a sniper, but who do we kick out? I'm thinking probably Professor Higgs. Then we don't have anyone with weird science, which I don't really like. Slinker one nine, this here's Dead Red calling the November Cowboys. You reading me out there, Caballeros? 
You all recovered from that big old Colorado welcome that Dorsey's gave you? Dead Red? Who to read you? Who's this? Ain't you nosy? Yeah. Switch over to twenty-seven point oh six five megahertz. All will be revealed. Okay. We switch and tell them that we don't have time for games. Howdy, Rangers. Sorry about the clowning. Have to keep a low profile these days. This is your old pal Angie. Otherwise known as Ranger Colonel Angela Death. Okay. Angela Death? Ha! Huh. Somebody remembers me. What do you know? Figured my name would be stricken from the record after me and my crew pulled our vanishing act. Wasn't our intent when command sent us out here to reconnoiter. But well, things took an unexpected turn. Uh, Ranger man has been wondering what happened to you. I'll bet. We came out here for the same reason as you. Because Command was hoping they could make an alliance with the Patriarch and get some, uh, foreign aid. Trouble was, the more we snooped around, the more we realized that good old Pappy Buchanan was a bloody-handed dictator that the Rangers shouldn't have nothing to do with. Okay. Unfortunately, Command didn't want to hear it. Told us they were going to make the deal anyway. Too desperate to be particular. We took a vote, the squad and me, and decided that just wasn't the Ranger way. Instead, we made a pact to take Buchanan down and help Colorado become the home of freedom that Arizona could have been if the Rangers hadn't lost the Citadel to Matthias. Okay. Uh, you expect us to take your word for this? Not at all. I admit, we want you on our side. But you've got to see for yourself that Buchanan's a conniving shitbag. That's why I was calling. There's a man you should talk to. He's locked up in an old bunker in Broadmoor Heights and guarded by mercs. So you may have to do a little shooting to get to him. But when you do, ask him about his dealings with the Patriarch. It'll open your eyes. Okay. What man? How do we find him? Sounds like you're sending us into a I'm trap. I'm not sending you anywhere. I'm just saying, if you want to see the other side of the story, you might look this Cordite fella up. His name is Ironclad Cordite, a warlord of the Eastern Plains, and one goddamn tough son of a bitch. As to how you find him, I'm a little shaky on the details, but I'm told there's a hidden hatch on some monument at Buchanan Park in Broadmoor Heights. Okay. And listen, when you do find him, Bust him out of there and do what you can to keep him alive. He could help you with liberty later. Also, if you need more firepower, he's got a shotgun for a left arm. Okay. Uh... We'll check it out when we get done with what we're doing Gracias, now. Gracias, compadres, and good luck. I'll be in touch. Dead red over and out. Okay, so we have a new mission. Lords of War? Yeah, Angel of Death. So that's a level 11 mission. The cinema thing, we need to go get her reels or something. And yeah, find the movie reels. It's level 7. Unwelcome guests is level 5. Right, let's let's head back to Colorado Springs. If we can find our way. Well we'll we'll head to the circus things first. The circus is here. The clown museum. Clown museum is the name. So we'll go there. But we'll go there in the next one guys, because we are out of time. So thank you very much for watching. I hope you enjoyed it. If you did, why not leave a like and subscribe and I'll see you next time.